Hey guys, today is Wednesday and it's the vlog day and Mr. Headlands is with me. We just arrived at the garage. Hey guys. And this guy will follow me in the next weeks to help me to vlog out. And yeah, I'm gonna hand over the camera to Dominic. And today we're gonna do something with my street bike. And what exactly I'm talking about, you're gonna see now. Perfect. Okay, now let's change this bike into a rock-on street bike. This is something I want to do for such a long time because I don't like anymore the graphics on this bike, but I didn't have the time for, for it. So today I'm gonna show you how to apply my rock-on sticker on the Duke. So let's make those hands dirty a little bit. You need a heater, not this one, but this one that's the right thing to do if you don't have this professional one you can still use the the one that you have at home for your hair it helps also a lot so both both of them are good but this one gets goes a little bit faster with this one so i'm gonna remove first the stickers with the heater don't be too long on the plastic because you can destroy the paint or or, or the plastic itself so take this sticker with one go if I if I do it you pay me a beer if I don't do it you pay me a beer the, let's see let's prove Dominic wrong man I'm gonna heat up one more time one go one beer I hope the beer will stay in my stomach not Dominic's okay 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 That's intense, like a horror movie, man. Shit, almost, almost. My beer is mine. The beer is mine. Oh, I can feel the taste of uh, Blondie. The blonde. No! Fuck! No! <laughs> Just in the left. That's why, guys, you need to warm up the sticker if you want to do it. If you want to win a beer, and if you want to remove a sticker in one go, that's why you need to heat up. Front part is done, and now the rear part, and on this one I need to remove the seat and the passenger holders for easier access to the stickers. Also now when I'm removing and then later when I'm applying, so... Once you take down all the stickers, you need to clean the plastic from all the dirt, from the old glue, from the old sticker. So you can use or uh, alcohol, okay, not maybe this one, or the brake 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 cleaner. It's not the best thing to use on the plastic. It's not meant for that, but it removes the glue quite well. So I'm gonna use this one because I don't have uh, alcohol for the for the glue. So yeah, you can use what you what you have. When you see your towel is dirty, change it. It's really important to always clean with a fresh towel. If you never did this before, it's better to start with the smaller parts because uh, then you get used to it, how it's working and that you don't get so much bubbles in the stickers. So I'm gonna use the front suspension sticker. Don't be afraid, if you do a mistake, you can easily uh, remove the sticker and put it back. That's why we clean the plastics and surfaces before. Search for a line from the side for the suspension. And then when you have it, you just stick it 
and just straightening it out with the finger. And all the bubbles are going out. Bam, done. One of the uh, cool things of this sticker kit is you have a front fender uh, design. So that, that was my favorite thing. And I told the designer I want to have a front fender sticker kit. So we did it. So again, you align it with the edge. And then just go with the finger again, taking the bubbles out. Perfect. And when you go to the other side, it's important you have this piece similar as the other side and then with the edge take all the pieces with you to the bike and then start step by step to implement them to the to the plastic always align with the with the edge so you have always a straight line and that it fits perfectly and then just straighten it out with the finger so you don't have any bubbles in the sticker. Bam! The front end is done. Let's go to the tank decals. On the bigger parts of the sticker kit, especially on the tank decals, you need to be a little bit careful because it's easier to get bubbles in, this, uh, in the decal. This side has a perfect and then it's going always a little bit down. And on this side I have the sticker is going over the edge. So the water can, or the dirt can, after a while, come uh, under the sticker. So the sticker will, will go slowly down. So if you do this mistake, again, no problem. Take it down and do it once more. So you can go take down the sticker. You can do this thing around five times and then the, the sticker is uh, losing uh, slowly the power of the glue. So you align it and then you straighten it and then you take care of the line here. So I have a, here a bubble, so I go just with a finger and I take out the air. So if you can't remove the bubble with a finger, you take a sharp, sharp knife and you put a hole and you take out the air. Usually when you're applying the stickers on the bikes, you use this, uh, the heating gun uh, to to straight out the edges and, and so on and the bubbles. Where you have the sharp edges, we cut the sticker. So you don't need process with the heating on, you just use your one finger and you put the sticker on and it's, it's really an easy job. This part, the under tank, you need to be a little bit more careful because you need to be really aligned with the edge uh, so it, uh, it, it is made out of four pieces and it, uh, all the four pieces needs to be aligned. Be on the edge is important as always. We are almost finished. I don't have so much time anymore because I'm gonna do something that I'm gonna do first time in my life. So I need to be quick. I have 15 more minutes and we just need to put the back piece of the bike and then we are done and then the bike is ready to rock and roll on the street. You align it with the hole and then you start to align it with the edge and you continue all the way down. Bike finished and Oh, now it's time to do something that I've never done before. We need to go, let's start the bike and see you there. Rock and roll. From the garage to the airport and with Ernesto, I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. And what is that, Ernesto? We're gonna jump from 4,000 meters, we're gonna parachute, we're gonna free fall. I, I will survive? I hope so. You promise me? I hope so. I give you my word. Shit, I'm, I'm still calm, but. I don't know what will happen when I'm in the plane, so let's see. You're yeah? gonna be fine, I, I hope so. <laughs> let's put the gear on and Absolutely. let's fly. Let's go. Let's rock and roll.
hope you had a great time. I'm not sure if you enjoyed a lot or not, but I hope so. I had a really good time. Let's see a rock in two seconds. Let's start this walk. Okay. Hey, oh, rock. Just sit down. Quality. Yeehaw! And I like boxing, so Dave, ever. <laughs> one of the best things. I, I can't speak. This is one of the best experiences in my life. I need to admit, thanks to Ernesto. Bro, my pleasure. Thanks to Jose. Jose. Yeehaw! Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to do this more often, for Ernesto. Sure, for sure. I couldn't breathe. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop to smile, and uh, I couldn't breathe. The air was so fast. Glad hey, you had fun, guys. Follow this crazy guy on his Instagram, uh, Ernesto. Ernesto Gainza. Ernesto Gainza, or uh, you can see the link uh, here. And I'm quite sure I'm gonna do this more often. We should, we should, we should jump more. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh? And thank you for this good experience. Thanks for being here with us. Yeah, and now I go try my new stylish bike to That's, ride. That it's sounds a, good. It's a beautiful, beautiful weather, and. Next time Thank I'm you. gonna teach you how to ride a bike. I think I'll pass on that. Uh, I'll pass on no. that. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. So much fun! Oh, uh, yeah, what should I say? I hope you liked my new vlog. Uh, it was a little bit different. I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, let me know in the comments below how you like my new style of my street bike and what you want to see in the next one. So enjoy the art shots of my pimped up Duke and see you in the next vlog. Rock and roll.